Welcome back everyone, I'm the Bella Gamer, and we're here with another one of my discussion videos, and I think this one's gonna be a little on the controversial side as far as opinions in the tabletop space. Uh, you probably already know from the title, so you know what? Uh, maybe I can scare a few of you away first. Let's do some, let's do some shilling for myself before, <laughs> before we start. So, you know, if you enjoy the video, or if you don't enjoy the video, leave a like, dislike, whatever. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, which some of you probably will unsubscribe after this, but subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you want to have the discussions in a place that's closer to home, you can go into the Discord and harass me there. Please don't harass me. It's, it's... Okay, you know what? Let's get started. <laughs> so, why am I freaking out? Well, if you don't know, if you're not in the space pot, like, predominantly, one of the biggest things with D&D &D when it first came out, and even with 5th edition, is rolling for stats. And a lot of people really like rolling for stats because humanity just seems addicted to gambling. I don't know. A lot of people will say, I prefer the stat diversity. I like having bad stats, and some games just don't give you bad stats. I agree with all of this. I like having bad stats. I like working around it. I, I think the diversity created from rolling for stats is okay, but that's... So, in the end, right, the game is a game, like, is a story, is a narrative game. It's a game as well, and when you roll for stats, you set all players off on unequal footing. There is really no need for it, and... People only want good stats out of this anyway. The people who want bad stats, well, guess what? If you're doing a static array or doing it how it is normally done in Pathfinder, I'm sure if you ask your DM, can I have bad a bad stat? Can I have an eight in this? You know, they're going to be like, yeah, totally. I don't know why it doesn't. It, it, if anything, it just makes it harder for your character, but it's not like game breaking to do so. Like, it's a lot easier for a DM to say, yes, take a bad stat than it is for a DM to be like, here, have a, a, a 20 in one of your stats at level one. You know, it's just I don't like it. I don't like rolling for stats. And a lot of the arguments I hear from people are just dumb. People are like, my players just like rolling dice. Yeah, the whole game is rolling dice. Taking out one instance of rolling dice is not going to change it. If you're saying your players are addicted to gambling, then that's another issue altogether. But even then, like, the whole point is it's a group experience. It's a group narrative. Rolling for stats just makes it uneven. Players are starting off in different places. And... Even when a player is opting to choose to take a lower stat, that they didn't have to. They didn't have to because, you know, of whatever. You know what I mean? But rolling for stats can make some characters way stronger than they really should be. And in all honesty as well, I've really not noticed stats making the biggest difference when it comes to how the game is actually played and done, except maybe if you looked at the numbers more hardcore, you could see like, oh, okay, the efficiency got me this year, not this year. A plus one, plus two difference. It Well, a plus two difference is kind of big, but like even a plus one difference is really not that big a deal. But I just don't like rolling stats because it just inherently makes the playing field uneven for your players. And it doesn't, validate the choices of where they put their stat allocations you know what i mean like everyone's gonna everyone's gonna hate me for this one and i completely understand and i'm not saying that your play style choice of having random stats is bad it is not i am saying that i hate it as my opinion because it inherently just doesn't add enough and it sets your players off on uneven footing. And every game that I've run that had a static stat array starting out was so perfectly fine. And no player had to ever even think, oh, it was because I didn't roll well on my stats starting out. 
You know, and the worst part is, in D&D 5th edition specifically, rolling stats is such a terrible idea because of how much every point actually makes a big difference in D&D 5e. Because you, like, in Pathfinder, right, you get proficiency per level, and the proficiency per level debate is one I'm so not even going to address because that's not the point. But proficiency per level, there like not all skill checks that players need to make should be at the player's level. There should be standard world, you know, based checks that like unlocking some kind of doors or whatever doesn't need to be really hard for a character that level. As you level up, you're just going to be good at things that your character has decided to invest in that maybe you might not be as good as the best of the best, but you're still pretty good, especially considering what level your character will be at. In D&D, they don't really have this. And in fact, the proficiency bonus really oftentimes makes... Well, actually, no. Your attribute bonus makes up more of a difference than even your proficiency bonus for most of the game. And even then, the chances are still not that good. Like, a, a level 20 character attempting a check that they're not proficient in, or even proficient in, can still make checks that a level 1 character or so it can fail checks that a level one character can make. They're more likely to do it true, but it's, it just blows my mind that a level 20 character couldn't do an athletics check because they rolled a two and they get like a plus seven overall to everything. Or I guess at that point, maybe a plus 10. So maybe they can make a base level 12 or, you know, a, a DC 12, like low check, but like a level one character could still outroll them despite that even if they're both like trained in it even if they're not trained in it technically it's a lot of nonsense and people like that chaos people like the idea that any character can possibly do anything that any check is possible that people like the idea of the muscle wizard where it's like oh look at my all 20 wizard that is wasn't that funny coincidence you know or all 18 wizard or whatever i'm gonna play the muscle wizard she's just good at everything that also sounds really boring honestly for me so, like, what does rolling stats really add? Because it doesn't add balance. It adds a gambling element if they're addicted to that kind of stuff or just enjoy that kind of stuff, I suppose. And it allows them to make more broken builds or more powerful than standard builds. Well, not rolling for stats, doing a static array or doing what kind of Pathfinder does allows you to make a character who is statted and balanced like everyone else's and no one really feels the differences and and in fact it makes it as well and here's another big thing that if you roll very mid stats if you don't roll anything like above like a, a 14 or whatever the things you should be really good at you're going to be lagging behind other characters in pathfinder and other games that do like a more static array you're going to be as good as you possibly can be for your level at those things because that's just how it's expected so the things that your characters are good at are going to be things that your character will be good at but when you roll stats that's not necessarily the case especially if you add mid rolls you know what i mean and a lot of the ways that people do dice rolling generated stats really favor having characters with high stat builds anyway. So that just tells me that people are more focused on having characters with really, really good stats starting out. And again, that's boring. Characters overcoming challenges in certain areas is really important. It's important for, for character growth in general. And even in games like Pathfinder 2E, which has... I would say a standardly better stat array for most things. The things your character are not good at, you're still not going to be good at them regardless. So I don't know. I don't like rolling for stats. And honestly, I picked this video out specifically because I knew it was going to get a lot of views because I know a lot of people feel very strongly about this. But I also think that I just have a very unpopular opinion and I want to state what the reason is. And it really just boils down to you're inherently making the game unbalanced for your players, which is weird for a group experience. And imbalances like that can cause issues, will it? No, nothing is ever for sure in this world. Honestly, there's exceptions to all rules. And I'm also a person who absolutely loves rolling and getting 
a, a like a really good stat and a really really bad stat to have that kind of work around for your character you know but in the end even when we don't do that i still have just as much fun in games with static arrays so it's like yeah i play characters who have a bad stat and it's fun working around that but i there's really no difference in the level of fun than when i just get a static array and at least when it's a static array or uh you know the the a way that pathfinder 2e does it i know that everyone else at the table is at least not going to be better or worse than me because we're all kind of put on the same playing field which makes me feel better i don't feel like i'm overplaying or overshadowing a character who didn't roll as well nor do i feel like oh of course they got so they're gonna do all the stuff you know like i hate feeling like that and it doesn't happen a lot in my game i don't think it really happened at all honestly uh but it has happened in like some public play event stuff even though public play doesn't allow for rolling for stat generation there's been public play events things i've done that have had like one shot stuff that had whatever it doesn't really matter there's been situations i've been in where rolling for stats felt worse than it would have been if we just did static array and people can call that boring people could say they just want to roll their dice let them roll their dice yeah of course don't let me tell you how to play your game the name of this video is my opinion so don't listen to it if you don't want to even if you want to listen to it, I'm not really saying anything all that crazy. People are going to agree and feel validated or disagree and and be petty about it. And some people are just going to look at it and be like, oh, that's a take and then not care. So whatever. But this video is going to get a lot of clicks anyway because these videos do. So you know what? I, I It's also something I did want to genuinely talk about, though, because I do see a lot of just rolled stat games and I feel like they don't do what people want them to do honestly and static array stuff just ensures better balance in your game so if you don't want to break your game you know i feel i feel there's better ways but that's gonna be it for me thank you all so much for watching leave your comments down below because i know you got them i'll see y'all next time bye